What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today I am with, you know who, Mr. Cannon Counts. Uh, I got the truck right here, his truck here. Today we are camping on Mount Hermon. Mountain, oh, I can't bring my mountain bike out here. Um, tonight we might wake up to some snow in the morning, we'll see. I think it's gonna be about 15, 20 degrees. I've got the diesel heater all fueled up. I should be able to run that on high technically for like two nights. So I should be able to crank it all night and not have to worry about it. I've got the Geniverse 1200 watt power station in the truck ready to go and ready to power that up. Charged up my Davos Light Rangers kind of last minute, but I'm sure it'll be enough of a charge to light up camp. I believe Cannon has his and we've got about seven or eight bundles of wood. So it's gonna be a late, late night. I also have a new product to show you. So it's a new set power fridge. God damn, that thing is quick. So I just left the gas station about 10 minutes ago. I forgot to run the fridge the whole way from home to the gas station, it was about 45 minute drive. And it was at about 50 or 60 degrees on the left quadrant of the fridge. It's now down to 10. So it's going quick. But we're gonna start hitting this road um, and go find camp set up and get to having fun. All right, we've only seen a couple people on this road I don't think any, if many, of them are really camping. We're getting our first little hints of snow. Uh, we're at about 8,910 feet. Thank you, Garmin. We'll see if we have snow at the top. If we do, I think it's gonna be very minimal, but we shall see, I guess. But keep on keeping on. Um, I don't think we're gonna see much of anyone else. If we do, they're probably Hello. just out here messing around. Um, but yeah, I think we'll be at camp here shortly and I'll be able to show you guys this new fridge. It's pretty nice. I got the bigger one this time. The last time, I think I got the smaller fridge just to fit it in the back, in the back on the goose gear a little bit better. Oh, there's people camping up here. You got some people camping to the right. Um, but that thing, it cools down so quick and I got the bigger version this time um, they're shooting but I'll show you that when we get to camp once I get all set up and everything we'll keep going all right we pulled off just for a quick little stop I'm gonna try to show you guys this view it's uh it's pretty wild check it out there you guys go there is Pikes Peak it's quite the view all right, I'm gonna sleep on this rock. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. Are we gonna have a view from our campsite or what? No, we want to be blocked from the wind. Oh, that's even better. There's your view. I'm gonna go get blocked from the wind. With that being said, the camp spots with the views are not always the best camp spots to actually camp at. Um, especially out here in Colorado anyway. Just because Let's get out of here. Um, it can get pretty damn windy. And so having wind barriers and something to block is better for us than waking up to a view because if you're getting hit by wind all night, you're probably not sleeping. Therefore, you're awake all night. You still get the view in the morning, but I'd rather sleep all night and then drive to a view. We're gonna keep heading down this uh, this road. Cannon said he's got a spot that's really good for wind, so that's where we're gonna go. And just like that, we're at camp. So I didn't check the elevation. Where are we probably like 8,500 feet? I think we're probably about 8,500 feet, which isn't bad. Cannon's gonna set up shop there. I'm setting up shop down here. 9,200 9, feet. 
we'll see how the diesel heater does. I have that case studies, uh, kind of one of his prototype diesel heaters. He put it together real quick for me. We've got some shotgun shells over here. You bring a rifle? All right, we'll shoot the nine. I brought my nine. Um, we're going to probably get a fire started ASAP because as soon as we pulled up, tiny little snowflakes are starting to come down. So we're going to be probably camping while it's snowing and we'll see how much we wake up to. It'd be cool to kind of wake up to a bit of snow, but I'm going to go ahead and get my tent set up, ladder set up, start running the hoses for the diesel heater and we'll start cooking because I'm freaking starving. Cannon brought a sleeping bag bigger than his whole truck. <laughs> I'm sure that thing is warm as hell. But so is these. Alright, we got diesel heater ran up. I got the new fridge. Keeping some ice cream nice and cold for dessert. I made a rookie mistake. The Geniverse 1200 watts, so the Home, Home Power 1 Pro, doesn't have a DC plug. I don't have my adapter for my DC to AC for the fridge, but the fridge was like five degrees, so we should be good. Um, got the Blackstone out. Uh, tent is all set up. That took about 30 seconds, if that. Gonna start setting up Light Rangers. One over here, one probably up there by the campfire. And we're gonna start cooking. I think Cannon brought steaks. Yeah, I'm starving. So camp is all set up. Since I made the rookie mistake of no DC uh, charger, I am now running the truck. Just to idle to power the fridge for a bit. Cannon's about to start cooking. We got the Blackstone. Um, but I wanted to show you guys something about the Garmin. I know I've talked about the Garmin tread quite a bit. And I just found another reason why I love it. So I set up the inReach that is built into this. So I paid for the subscription. Cannon and I have no service. But I am able to text Mackenzie. She just texted me back. Um, just got home a little bit ago. My dad is here. So her dad is visiting from Washington. They're at the house. But I'm able to keep in contact with her with this unit and paying that subscription. I think I get like 40 text messages a month. So it's nice if you're, when I pull up to camp, no service, say, hey, I'm at camp. We're going to start setting up, cooking. I love you. Right? And then she knows I made it safe. And then before I go to bed, hey, we're going to bed. Good night. I love you. Right? That way she knows we're safe, we're at camp, nothing happened, and we're going to bed. You can also send your location too. So you can actually start mapping a route. As soon as you hit start, it can email or text your location and your whole entire route. So another reason why I love this system, um, not only powers all your accessories, has maps, has campsites, has messaging with no service. It's just a very, very well thought out system. Uh, with that said, it's Blackstone time. We're going to cook up some steaks because we're starving. You guys know the rules. One bite. That's going to be hot as balls. Not bad. One job. Oh yeah, that's what you want. Carrie, thanks for the uh, Wagyu. Woo. What do you give out of 10? 8 out of 10? I was going to say about 8. 8 out of 10 for sure. I mean, 10 out of 10, I'm just bragging. Right. <laughs> this isn't Overland Chef. This ain't Overland Chef or Overland Eats. This overland make do. Yeah. <laughs> Eight out of ten for sure. It's really good. Mm. We forgot plates, so we're eating off the grill. Whose fault was that? 
Probably not mine. <laughs> Butter broccoli. Money. The nice thing about camping with Cannon is when it's just us, when we make steak, we like our steaks the same way. So we can make two of them, cut them up, leave them out, and just both eat it. Yeah, that broccoli is prime. Yeah, they're better than the last one. Yeah. All right, we're gonna eat, get a fire going, then we'll hang out. All right, dinner was delicious. Thank you, Cannon, for cooking. Carrie, thanks for the steaks. We got Davos over here, Davos over there, two Davos over there. We're using the uh, little wooks to make some kindling. It's time to get a fire going. This little pit here, it's, my Garmin says about 30 degrees, but feels like 23, 24. Supposed to snow uh, starting in about 20, 30 minutes. And probably go for, I think two hours. So we'll get the fire going now. So we don't have to battle the snow later. But dinner was good. I think it's time for some ice cream out of that new PT series set power fridge. That thing is sweet. That thing, it cools really freaking fast. But I'll show you the fridge tomorrow morning. Let me start cooking breakfast and whatnot. Tomorrow's a full content day. I've got to make content for set power, Geniverse, tool roll, FSR extrusion, case study heaters, Dark Angel Medical, a couple, a couple brands. But we're gonna get this fire going so we can warm up a little bit and then enjoy the night. See you guys in a bit. It is now, let's see, 11.40, so almost midnight, and it is starting to snow now. So, I decided to kick on the heater to get the tent nice and warm for when we go to bed. Probably give it 30 minutes or so to warm up in there. I have covered up, you guys are not going to be able to see it, so I'm not going to show you, but I have covered up the Geniverse 1200 watt power station and the power controller for the diesel heater with the Blackstone cover to help keep them as dry as possible. Haven't camped with this setup uh, in the snow yet, so we're gonna see how it goes. Worst case scenario, I throw the power station in the cab of the truck, plug in the heated blanket, and run my heat that way. But, I think this will work. I think it'll be okay. My camera is freezing. This camera is cold. But, I'm gonna let that heat up the tent probably go to bed in a half hour to an hour I'm gonna let that crank all night got the Davos light ranger right outside the tent in case I have to go to the bathroom in the middle of the night or get out in the middle of the night but yeah we'll see if uh, see if this works or not I think it'll be fine I think I've got it pretty well covered I also don't want to restrict it because it, it's obviously got fans and everything to keep cool I just need to cover the top of it really so it it stays like an airflow, keep it nice and cool, not too hot. But also, once this thing is up and running, it's only drawing anywhere from like five to 40 watts, so the power station is not gonna get too hot. With everything set up now, I'm gonna go back to the fire because the fire is roaring and nice and warm. My hands are starting to get cold. I'm gonna go there. I'll see you guys when I get into the tent for bed. See you in a bit. So as you guys can see, the snow is really coming down. Um, we didn't think it was gonna be this bad. We didn't think it was gonna stick. It's almost 12.30 now. I've got a Light Ranger up there, a Light Ranger over here, so front and back of the truck. Diesel heater is going. I've never camped with a diesel heater in the snow, so we'll see how this goes. I covered up my Geniverse power station and the module for the diesel heater with the, uh, the Blackstone grill cover. My camera's getting soaked, this camera anyway is getting soaked. 
but should be fine. They're pretty waterproof, water resistant. You can use them in the rain, so I don't see why you can't use them in the snow. But we're getting covered in snow, so I think it's about time before our clothes get wet, wet to go to bed. So I'm gonna climb in the tent. I'll see you guys in like 30 seconds. So as you can see, the snow is coming down pretty good now. Uh, it is about 12.40, so we're approaching one o'clock in the morning here. So we're in our tents. I am in my beloved FSR Evolution. This is the V2, so all blacked out, dimmable lighting. Um, this thing is really nice because in the morning when the sun comes up, it's not super bright in here, so it doesn't wake you up. You can probably hear <coughs> the uh, Case Studies diesel heater running out there. I'm interested to see how this thing does in the snow. I don't know if it's going to cut off, what's going to happen with it, but I'm, I've got it going. I'm nice and warm in here. I'm going to sleep, be sleeping in uh, shorts and a t-shirt. I have to say, shout out to Beyond Clothing because that jacket that I brought was insanely warm. I could have been out there for most of the night. I didn't bring my, my super cold Beyond Clothing pants. If I would have, I would have been really, really warm. But yeah, my upper body with that jacket was toasty. But I'm gonna get ready for bed. I've got the diesel heater cranked. I've got my Aeronaut blanket here. I should be good. As long as that diesel heater doesn't kick off, worst case scenario, I'll have to go out there, plug in my heater blanket, and basically run that. But that's why you have backups. If you have one, you have none. So you have two options. Then you have one more backup. I've got this little vent open and the vent over on this side open as well, just to get some airflow through here. I don't have the bug mesh net closed. I don't really need it. I've got the main door closed, but I have texted Mackenzie from the Garmin Tread with the inReach built in. Just let her know, hey, it's snowing pretty good. Here's my location. We're going to bed. We'll see what we wake up to. I love you, right? Um, it's just good for your significant others to know where you're at just in case something does happen But with that said, I'm going to bed and again if you guys want a diesel heater Message me comment below whatever it may be I am working with case studies diesel heaters and if you do decide to run one get a carbon monoxide uh, slash smoke detector for your own safety with that said I'm gonna get undressed and go to bed. I'll see y'all in the morning for breakfast. We'll see how much snow we have later. Good morning. It is about 8.30. Slept in 30 minutes. I just started getting dressed here, but pulled a weather weather report on the tread here with the Garmin. 14 degrees feels like negative 7. Love that. We've got 25 mile an hour winds. I don't think we're getting the full 25 mile an hour wind because we're in this little like valley. But, oh, excuse me. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna get fully dressed and go outside and see if it's, see how much snow there is. Let's go check it out. So there's not a ton of snow, which is good. I didn't want a whole bunch of snow. But there is some wind. There's most definitely some wind. And the wind and camping in the cold makes everything worse. Left these on all night long with one side on dimmed. So in case I had to get out of the truck in the middle of the night, um, I would have light already there. They're still on. They're both still on actually, but I'm going to turn these off. I'm going to grab a beanie I think I brought this the beyond clothing stuff is just freaking so well done I think I brought that beanie I'm gonna throw that on so I don't freeze my head Ooh, this wind is not fun yeah, it's it's cold and this wind is picking up let's see what Cannon says when he gets out of his tent he's already out of his bag in his tent and he put his pants on and he goes, ooh. <laughs> Inside of his tent is frozen. It was chilly. It's probably 10. 
but the wind doesn't help anything. Neither does all the snow. But it didn't snow for too long, I don't think. But yeah, that diesel heater is a game changer. Mine wasn't, so I gotta keep switching hands because my hands are freezing. The two kilowatt, I don't think, is enough for what I did last night. Just because it was on full blast all night long. Didn't really get much of a break. Um, and the air coming into the tent wasn't like hot. It was, it wasn't, it wasn't warm, it wasn't cold. It was just kind of neutral, which actually really helped a lot. Again, I didn't use my heated blanket or anything. I just laid underneath it. It wasn't plugged in. And then I used the Aeronaut blanket on top of that. And I was, I was plenty warm last night. But the nice thing is, is that, you know, Cannon's saying his tent is all frozen on the inside because of the condensation being so cold and freezing to the, the tent. The inside of mine has literally nothing. Let's see if I even, let's see if I left that light on in here. Let's see. Oh yeah. Let's see if we can see this. So I have no condensation anywhere. No condensation, no frozen condensation, no nothing. So the diesel heaters do work really well for that. I look like I'm in a movie. Ah. So it works really well. But I think for this kind of stuff where it's, where the diesel heater's getting snowed on for a couple hours and where it's 15 degrees or less, I'd probably recommend doing a five kilowatt. That's what I'm gonna try next time. But I'm gonna wait for this guy to get out of his tent. He probably doesn't wanna get out of his tent so we can start making breakfast on the Blackstone. And I use the Blackstone cover to basically protect my Geniverse 1200 uh, Home Power One Pro and the electrical for the diesel heater. And it worked flawlessly. This stuff is all dry underneath here so that worked perfectly i'm glad that worked but yeah it's time to time to grab the blacks and start cooking some breakfast candy's gone out of the truck felt the weather for the first time struggling to find my jacket <laughs> that dark yoda hoodie's not gonna cut it hell no where the fuck is he i oh, don't know i can't find his jacket is it in your tent? No. You better hope you brought it. I got another one. Yeah, I must have taken it out. Went ahead and started the truck. Got some hand warmers in my pocket. Put on some wool socks and uh, some boots. Well, they were freezing cold from being inside the truck. Oh my God, I have gloves. My genius just shines through. Oh yeah, beyond gloves. I think these might be like a size too small, but I'm gonna wear them. Cause that's one thing that's really freezing is my hands right now. But we're gonna get the blackstone out. <clears throat> I'm gonna start packing up a little bit. That way, if it does get windier, I'm not trying to fight the wind and packing everything up. So I'm gonna put the diesel heater away first and then start grabbing stuff out of the tent. We're gonna move my truck into the sun cause this shade is way colder. Here, watch this. I'm just gonna take the ladder off and move with the tent set up. Breakfast was delicious. We had some breakfast sausage, some eggs with cheese and pepper, and then canning it, some uh, cinnamon rolls. So I get asked how I secure stuff in the bed of the truck. I'm gonna tell you guys right now, perfect bungees are the way to go. These things are absolutely phenomenal. Look at this. So I got the diesel heater, one over the top, one going side to side, Blackstone, one going over the top, and this just holds everything in nice and tight. I highly recommend these perfect bungees. I even have their perfect tie downs. Right here, and these things are phenomenal two extra axles all the good stuff in here but yeah I highly recommend those perfect bungees I've been using them for a couple months now and they work really really well oh man my hands are freezing 
All right, I think it's time to, everything's basically packed. I just gotta pack up the tent and then we'll be good. Got some icicles on my awning. Little ones. Cannon's packing up his tent right now. Oh man. If this wind would stop, it wouldn't be so bad. Oh. Man. Hands are freezing. I'm gonna go ahead and put this tent away real quick. So the only reason <clears throat> that I climb on top of the tent when I put it away is because I've got a zero degree bag laid out flat, heated blanket laid out, an aeronaut blanket laid out, and then I've got a small little pillow that I keep in there as well as the um, carbon monoxide detector. That's antenna. There we go. Um, carbon monoxide detector small little power station to run the lights in there uh, and the controller for the diesel heater so there's a lot of stuff in there that's why I get on top of it plus <clears throat> I only take the time to really air out the air mattress I just deflate it a little bit and then when I get on top of it it kind of pushes it and forces some of the air out but that's just the way I do it I think it's honestly probably faster than dealing with an air mattress but just be careful if you do the same way but we're all packed up. Probably get to get in here in a second. This wind will not leave us alone. It's it's chilly. It's real chilly. Well, I was filming some reels, content for some companies, and my hands are now freezing. The other ones are just gonna have to wait until next weekend. Um, I should be going out next weekend. I think next weekend I'm actually taking Bruce and Kevin with me. I believe it's Cannon, myself, Ben, Jaren. Uh, and maybe Grant. Oh, my nose is running. Oh, it's freezing. But yeah, that set power fridge did an awesome job. I mean, that thing cools down so freaking fast. I have to say again, shout out to Beyond Clothing. That jacket and those gloves saved my ass this morning. I was so much warmer. The only thing that was cold was my toes. And that was just because my wool socks and my boots were in the cab of the truck and I put those on this morning so they were cold. So I turned the truck on, heated them up, and then they were fine, but yeah. Overall, if you guys are looking for some main pieces of camping equipment, set power fridge, they're affordable, they work really well. Um, a case studies diesel heater to keep you warm when it is cold, that thing was amazing. I mean, I have zero condensation inside my tent. You saw cannons frozen inside because of the condensation of being it's so cold. I'm gonna do the five kilowatt for my next heater just so it's a little bit bigger of a heater unit and it can actually um, work under the colder conditions. But yeah, get yourself some good clothing, beyond clothing, check them out. Uh, case studies, diesel heaters, Canon's gonna get one now after I run mine for about probably five or six nights now. Um, and then a fridge, the fridges are so nice to have. You don't have to worry about food going bad. You don't have to worry about food freezing. You just set it to the temperature. The other side you can have as a freezer. I have ice cream in there right now. Um, but I didn't think it was going to be this cold, so I'm definitely not having ice cream. We're going to head out. I'm going to go home, hang out with my dogs uh, and my wife. But yeah, I hope you liked this video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Until next time, peace.